imagine. Let's all look at number two and three. On, actually, number two. I didn't say do number two. Just look at number two on page 21. So this is just going to be more of what we did last week. They don't give you a picture, though. So for you guys that were not here last week, you can follow along. Why are you not on page one? Okay, there you go. Take out your notes. You need to be taking notes. Fill, don't fill anything in the book because you'll be filling it in your notebook. Fill out notes completely. Now, we have ourselves a small box that ha can hold four grapefruits. So I'm going to have ourselves a small box and it can hold four grapefruits fruits. So I'm just going to put 4G there. Then you have a big box that can hold nine grapefruits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grapefruits. Now part A, we have this kid here. Jimmy. Little Jimmy. He bought X boxes, not an X box, he bought X small boxes of grapefruit. Now they don't tell you how many, so you just do 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 do. Here's another box, and we just say there are X of them. And he bought Y big boxes of grapefruit. Again, we have no, men, no idea how many big boxes, so I'll just write a little do 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 and a Y. Now the question is, how many grapefruits are in the small boxes, in all these small boxes? So if I were to write small boxes, how would I figure that out? Yes? Well, how many, how many grapefruits, the question is how many grapefruits are in these boxes? I didn't ask how many is in one box. I want to know how many grapefruits altogether this guy has. So he has two boxes? Does it tell you how many boxes he has? It doesn't. So this is what we'll do. If you're not sure how many he has of that, let's do part B. Let's do part B first. They tell you, what is x equal to? What is x equal to? How do you know? Where does it tell you that? Where does it tell you? All right, because we're looking at part B. So what is x equal to? What is y equal to? Seven. So if I were to ask you, how many grapefruits are in the small boxes, what would you do? Yes? Four times five. You would do four times five. So there's 20 of them in the small boxes. How would you figure it out for the big boxes? How would I figure it out for the big boxes? Somebody else. Yes. Nine times ten. Okay. Any questions on where the four, the five, the nine, and the seven come from? No. Do you understand where they come from? They tell you in part B that he has, there are seven big boxes and five small boxes. It tells you that in part B. You got that? So you should be looking at B and looking where it tells you that. So, how would I figure out how many total grapefruits I have here? What should I do with this 20 and that 63? Yes, sir. Add it. I add it. 20 plus 63 equals 83 grapefruits. So now, this is what we do. To write it as an equation, I just work backwards. Instead of writing the number 5, and the number seven, what should I replace it with? X. Yes, sir. X and Y. So instead of writing four times five up here, I write four times X. Instead of writing nine times seven up here, I write nine Y. 
And what did I do with these two numbers at the very end? I add them. So what I do is, I just add them together. I add that with that. So this is your answer for letter A. That's your answer for letter B. So me personally, I like to use the real numbers first because I can think in terms of real numbers. And then when they say write a formula out of it, I just replace whatever number they gave me, I just replace it with the letter. So I go backwards. I start with B, and I do A. Go B, and, and just I look at what I did in B, and just rewrite it here. Here I did 4 times 5 to get that, so 4 times X to get that. Here I did 9 times 7 to get that, so 9 times Y to get that. Here I added them to get my answer, so I just add them to get the answer. So you use the real numbers to figure out the algebraic numbers. All right, so this is our answer for B. That's our answer for A. Pretty simple, yes? Let's try this next example. Come, people in television land. Hi. Hello. I'm in YouTube land. Let's look at number three. A bus company charges its passengers the following rates for a single trip. Express the answers in terms of X, Y, and or Z. Now, I don't, I'm not good with the variable thing, so I'm just going to use real numbers. Let's see. Two adults, three children. So let's look at part C. They want two adults and three children. Now, if I look at that, and senior citizens, doesn't it also say that? And one senior citizen. So for two adults, how do I figure out the two adults? What should I write down? So I'll write two Y's. An adult is Y. I have two adults, so I have two Y's. What is the letter they use for children? Somebody else? Yes. So it'll be three X. Do they give me something for senior citizens? Yeah. They do. What do they give you? A Z. And since there's only one Z, I don't have to put the one there, so I'll just put Z. So that's your answer for part C. If you enjoyed this video, please watch this one right here. Or you might be interested in my last video right here. Please don't interrupt as they subscribe right here. All right, I'm going to give this kid extra homework for interrupting. The rest of you guys.